Hi, I'm Ray Fremont Jr. from General Air Products. I want to demonstrate to you today how to do a uh, soap test or a uh, leak test. Uh, it's something that we recommend that you do uh, to troubleshoot a cycling compressor. Um, first thing you do is you take your soap bottle and you want to spray every joint and union between the end of the pressure switch here through the T up here. You want to make sure that you get the check valve here as well as the safety valve over here. Next, you want coming out of the T, you want to basically spray every union like you see here to this uh, flex hose, then going into the AMD. Then over here, it's going out to the system. You want to spray every union, every joint, everything between the end of the air compressor and the beginning of the dry pipe valve. Now, the other important thing about this is that the compressor needs to be running while this test is taking place. While the compressor is running, you've sprayed everything between the compressor and the dry pipe valve. You look for bubbles and that signify leaks. If, there are, if you find any bubbles, then you found your problem. If you don't find any bubbles, then most likely your problem is the check valve at the end of the compressor. You're going to want to isolate the compressor, take out that check valve, and determine if there's any debris in there that's keeping it from seating properly. If it is seating properly, once you get the debris out, you put it back in, the compressor should run fine. If the check valve is still not running properly, even though there's no debris, you want to give us a call at 800-345-8207, and uh, we'll get you fixed up from there. Thank you.